very painful. It can be very, very painful and difficult. And you don't want to do it. And it's, it's you know, uh, yeah. but I think you, then you pick yourself up because that's what you love to do, you know. I've had some very difficult times in this whole process, you know, very difficult. You know, it's, uh, you know, I just love it though. I love the very thing. The very thing is so exciting, you know. Uh, I did a show a couple nights ago, you know, fans just love the, the songs. Just love it. I jump down into the audience, you know, and do everything just like everybody else did all these years. James Brown, anything you could do. You shake your ass and get it moving. <laughs> Gotta get the booty moving, you know? I just think it's that, man. Like, you know, it's funny. You got people in the audience, like a ton of people in the audience, whatever it's there, you know. And you've got to shake it up. You've got to make it work. <laughs> it doesn't matter what you do, as long as it, it works. Yeah. So. Well, it's, it's like that, that idea, too. I wouldn't have it any other way because, and, and what I think is amazing about what the Black Rock Coalition did is it really, it's, it, it, what a progressive idea <laughs> that that was 30 years ago. Because it was saying, I'm going to take my focus off you as the empowerer of this experience for me. I'm going to take it over here and say, no, this is my experience. This is going to be my journey. And I'm going to take the reins on this journey. And, um, you know, and this is reverberating through, I mean, you know, as a musician, through everything a musician does now, that like the art, the artistic experience is not like the icing is like, jumping out to the audience and getting to rock out. The, the, um, the deepening is happening by, you know, facing your self-doubt and putting yourself out there and reaching your hand out to shake the hand of somebody that you think might be able to help you and really saying, this is who I am. This is my message. This is what I stand for. This, I'm, I may be ridiculed. I may, like, this may be painful for me, but I'm going to stand here and be an artist. And, you know, what it means for the culture is that we have a, an empowered artist class that is, that is doing its job in the culture instead of, um, you know, laying in the back of the limousine being like, I made this, I, I like turd, I look at this turd, I made it. <laughs> Like, give me money and, and love. You know, like, this is, this is a corruption of, of the artist's job in the society. And these forces, uh, and in, in this case, Black Rock Coalition, the, the, how progressive that is that says, no, do it your fucking self. Work it out. <laughs> Work it out. So. I told you this was an amazing group of people. <laughs> See, on this side of the, whatever the wall is, like, I love BRC because you get to hang out with these amazing, thoughtful, insightful, you know, committed folks, you know, who are just really committed to having all kinds of fun, too. You know, you have any words you'd like to add to that, Madam President? <laughs> uh, no, I mean, we've said plenty, I think. Yeah, of course. <laughs> um, no, I just, I think it's, um, it's, the, the main thing is community and support, you know, where you don't get it elsewhere, make it yourself, and I think that's what the BRC has been doing for, you know, 30 years, um, well, 28, technically, you know, hopefully. But um, it, it's really, you know, it's it's also nurturing the the industry, but nurturing the audience and just showing that there is, there is support for it. I mean, and I, I bring this up only because, you know, like um, Earl Douglas, our, <laughs> over there, our executive director, of the New York chapter, but, you know, was on radio forever and, um, you know, did a show. It was like a Black Rock show on XM, was it? A couple, you did like one or two, like just, but they were episodes, like it wasn't, and just the comments that would come in were like, why are, why is Earl doing this? And like, you know, like it was, it was, 
just so evident that it was, you know, like the, the audience has a perception of limitation that isn't real. You know, the industry has a perception of limitation that isn't real. <coughs> any, any chance we get to confront that, um, you know, we're, we're down for, you know. Um, I like, uh, I always bring up the, or I think about the Earl Greyhound phrase, the uh, um, mix the races, rock your faces. Is yeah. That, yeah? Right. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah. um, but I don't know, it's just, um, there's something that's very exciting and liberating about championing the underdog um, and then watching the great things that happen when you do that, so. Well, I always tell people that I, that I have the secret desire to be the black Charlie Rose. But today, today, I get to fulfill my desire to be the black Phil Donahue. I have questions. How, I, I am hoarse, so I play music. So how might, how might, how might what you do, or what you create, is service or in service to, and I say might because I'm not presuming that what you create and what you do is service, is a service, but I got a sneaky suspicion based on hearing you guys that this is a greater service, and I ask that because I'm an artist myself and I'm in a very precarious situation uh, uh, spiritually in terms of the existential question of why we create, so I guess I want to want you to address that. Whatever service means to you, to whom, for whom, by whom. I think if you're doing it, you're out there playing, performing, uh, how, how, however difficult or however easy it is, it's an example that, you, that other people can do it too. And I think that's really important. You know, I think the black community uh, needs to see that to find out and feel that they can come out and play, you know, and that it doesn't, it doesn't have to be any restrictions. Well, that it can be difficult, it can be difficult, you know. There's nothing wrong with it, of it being very difficult. There's nothing wrong with it being painful, but uh, there's no question that uh, people's successes or even failures lead other people to try the same thing. You know, they, they want it. People, everybody wants to have, especially in the music game, in the music game, people want to play music. People want to have fun with the music. And, uh, and then people who come to hear the music see it, and they want to have fun with the music. Everybody wants to join in and, and have some kind of a, some real excitement and pleasure, you know, and the creativity. Oh, Peg, how are we doing with time? Okay. Let's see, we have a hand over here. I'll come back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.